It's exciting science. It's a very important problem where there's just many opportunities to advance what we understand about making molecules. One of the big goals of this center is in terms of using electrochemistry to make complex organic molecules. To essentially um, translate industrial synthesis uh, to a, a greener, more environmentally um, friendly environment. And so that will impact everybody. We really want to bring synthetic electrosynthesis to the chemistry community as a whole. In order to do that, we have to develop new reactions, we have to develop new methodologies, we have to develop new instrumentation, and we have to change the way we educate uh, the undergraduate student so it becomes part of their curriculum. The genesis of, of the center was the idea that uh, we could bring together a lot of people with different expertise to try to advance the field of electroorganic synthesis. I'm an expert in bioelectrochemistry. Surface chemistry and electrocatalysis. Electroanalytical chemistry. Organic chemistry, organometallic chemistry, data science, and electrochemistry. I think it's a blast. So putting a bunch of people together in very different areas um, is a lot of fun because you get to see how people build off of each other. And I think that allows us to be able to address bigger problems than you would be able to address if you're just a team of organic chemists or just a team of electrochemists. Moving forward, science is becoming more and more collaborative as we develop skills from each other and interact. And that's really important uh, in my future skill set. Believe it or not, I'm not a chemist by training. I've gradually drifted from a mathematics undergrad through an interdisciplinary program. When I moved here, I hadn't studied electrochemistry or even really thought about electrochemistry in research. So I trained as an organic chemist. Um, and really, the center is designed to use electricity to do the reactions I was doing before, but in a different, more sustainable way. And so I'm, I'm constantly learning, constantly challenged, but constantly being open to opportunities where my skill set can really build the program and I can add things to their work and they can show me problems that I didn't know existed, but actually I've got a skill set that can, can work towards solving. It keeps me on my toes and keeps things exciting. And when I joined the center as an organic chemist, I needed to think about how to explain my science to electrochemists and vice versa and then opening that up even further to talk to a general population, the ability to interact in different ways, I think is very important for science. Oh, look at that! The Center for Synthetic Organic Electrochemistry has partnered with STEMAP here at University of Utah, and they have provided us informal science communication training on how to speak to both uh, the sort of scientific audience as well as the non-scientific audience. For instance, Ashley Cass, one of the graduate students uh, in the program, is an avid skier and she really wanted to bring electrochemistry to the ski slopes. So one of the ways we started conversations on the ski lifts, doing our informal science communication, was to use these electrochromic goggles. They actually change color based on an applied bolt voltage. You hit the button and it'll actually change to a darker lens. It kind of just jump-started our conversation about electrochemistry in general, which was a pretty cool thing to be able to do. CCI has a wealth of novel instrumentation. Uh, one is actually a scanning electrochemical cell uh, microscope in a glove box to be able to do in situ imaging of electrosynthesis so that we can understand mechanism and further develop those techniques. So Scott Anderson has the unique capability of being able to make size selected nanoclusters. His ability to control matter at the single atom level and make new catalysts for carrying out electron transfer reactions. That's never been applied in the field of electroorganic synthesis. So this is really exciting. I think the CCI has this great opportunity where we've spent the last two and a half years basically building a team, building synergies, and starting that base of knowledge in terms of techniques and methodology that can go forward and grow entirely sort of new areas of electrosynthesis. This center is already making a difference in the world. As it grows, that influence is only going to be bigger from the academic scientists all the way through to industrial are getting on board already. And as the center expands, well, the impact's gonna to expand too, so fun times.